Yes. Yes. Um, actually, this is the Outer Peace um, project by Toro Imoy. So shout out to Toro Imoy. Oh. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I know. Let me turn my volume up. Anybody into Toro Imoy? Send some love to Toro Imoy. How do you spell, how do you spell that name? T O R O. Space Y M O I. Cool. I gotta peep you guys next to me. Okay, so. Oh. Yes. Let me like load this all right now. Yeah, do your thing. Hey guys. Um. So welcome to Sidebar. Welcome to Sidebar, the first one. Here we are. The first one. How are you feeling? Like, how is How's life been on this like crazy lockdown, the universe, everything going bro? But actually I heard Earth is doing really well right now. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Mother Nature is like, thank y'all for giving me some space and time. <laughs> I know. Dude, I feel like it's been waves. Like it's been different chapters of like I feel like it's like been two week chapters of different vibes. Right. But this past couple of days have been good. I'm finding a flow, you know, like figuring out how to just keep things moving. How about you? Um, I feel I feel like the same exact way. I feel yeah. like uh, the first month of it, I was just like yeah. very antisocial, very not to <laughs> friends. <laughs> yeah. And then I was just like, Absolutely. what am I doing? Like, you know what I mean? This is the time to connect even more. Like, it yeah. seems like the planet or just, just the universe, the higher whatever, yeah. it's giving us the chance to connect with people on a different level. And we should take advantage of that, I feel like. Totally. I just feel like everyone's had, like, so many different, I don't know. It's like some people are like, yo, like, be your best self. Like, do everything you wanted to do. Other people are like, no, you know, like, take it easy. <laughs> There's just no rubric for this time. You know what I mean? So I feel like, um, but yeah, how to stay connected and grounded, I feel like is the biggest. Grounded. Yeah, just one of the biggest tasks right now. I feel, I, like, I feel like a lot of people's mental has been like test, yeah. you know, because social media is playing such like a big part in everything in all of this, because we're seeing the challenges, we're seeing people create, I must People are creating a lot of interesting, cool, great work right now. Yeah. I was like, is this going to be a time where we're just throwing stuff out and we're not really sure and it, it's just like weird? But I'm actually seeing a lot of great stuff too as well. Um, oh, yeah. And so I think people are just like trying to figure out if they should be on that lane or they should like disappear or, but you know, there's, there's a middle, medium, middle, <laughs> middle oh, yeah. area. No, but I think like, yeah, well, you know, we'll get more into that today, but like, also just like, um, how do we adjust and like, I don't know, I feel like there's obviously just mourning of like what this time isn't, you know, like, we were about, you know what I mean, like the shows we were going to be playing and like, it's just like, it's a totally different time than we thought it was going to be. And so how do we like, how do we, how do we figure out what this time is about instead of like, just like stressing about what isn't you know like what is this time what can we do how do we ground and what do we what can we learn from this time you know in a deep way that's a big thing i think learning right now is like yeah. and adjusting and totally. 
it's change. I feel like this time is a big time of change and we're like very afraid and you know, just a lot of people, we are all scared of change and, yeah. and we have to get, let our minds let go. I've been watching, have you seen Midnight Gospel? No, what is that? Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna say too much, but okay. Netflix, I encourage every, like, a, actually I think Alexa, she's a host, she actually tweeted about it. So I went and what? watched the entire series in one setting. It's only eight episodes. Spiritual, like, makes you really think about the bigger questions. Beautiful. And I think it's actually like this time frame will help people feel at ease by watching that. Yeah. By just let the art of letting go and being attached to, um, to like the idea of your old life or your yeah. new life. What's gonna happen in the future is just going with the flow, you know? Totally, totally. It's like so, such a big lesson in control. And I would like, I know that we're opening it up for questions at some point, but like, I'm also curious what people are like learning, you know, because mm -hmm. I feel like we're all learning so much. So like, what are we learning about ourselves and control? And like, our, you know what I mean? Where does that come up for everyone? Because um, I think that, yeah, this is just like a huge thing where it's like, you gotta, you gotta give it up to something bigger than like, whatever you, you know, whatever you believe in, wh whatever, like not believe in, but it's a big moment of just like surrendering that up to, to something bigger than us. Cause it is, you know, so. Bigger than us. It's a, I feel like we were moving for a little time that mm -hmm. we weren't thinking about the bigger picture. We were just thinking about ourselves and how we going to go through 2020. Right. And how we have all these things lined up and then right. like, actually, <laughs> actually, so yeah, I think just kidding. <laughs> it just makes you like really like you said like leaving it like thinking about the bigger picture and the bigger yeah and someone just said like that their um snap crackle pop is just like learning the most about themselves and yeah i feel like it's just such a big moment of introspection and like we just that's all we got right now you that's know all we have is our like learning going inward and you know you can't go a little outward i think it's just anybody else joining any <laughs> cult <laughs> Cody, the cult of instagram live i think Yo, <laughs> that's a cult literally i haven't seen so many instagram lives in my entire life like i was just like what is going on but i kind of like first i was like this is really annoying but this our way of like connecting to each other because we like that connection totally. you know? and there's something for everybody i actually there was like some meme also the meme game i feel like it's just off the, the chart meme game is out of control. so fucking out of control but one of them was like i don't even know what the picture was it was like some animal like doing some sketchy thing but it was like when i pop into your instagram live buy it and then like dip out immediately you know <laughs> that's me <laughs> so no shade to anyone who's gonna do that we feel you if you want to kick it with us yeah <laughs> on and no worries <laughs> Quarantine radio. <laughs> this is not exactly. It will be no booty exactly, pop. dude. Exactly. <laughs> so okay. So what? So what have you been working on? Like, how has your creative life been on this lockdown? Yeah, like, such a good question. I mean, it's been. It's honestly been sort of beautiful. Like, I I've been trying to like take in inspiration and like just playing jazz standards and like it's like trying to like just do like just sort of practice these fundamentals and like soak in stuff because I feel like usually when I'm just like playing shows a lot it's a lot of output and not a lot of time to just like drink and nourish you know mm -hmm. um and then through that it's been it's been beautiful it's been a lot of writing happening but um it's just like writing those waves of inspiration you know as they come where are you getting like inspiration from are you just like getting it from yeah everywhere or like just seeing stuff reading stuff like i mean i'm getting i'm inspired by what other folks are doing i'm i'm taking learning a lot i feel like from how artists are like approaching this time and how they're staying connected and building resources so i'm definitely like awake to that and trying to figure out sort of where in that feels good to me. You know what I mean? Because I think that they're, like we're saying, there's like everything on the spectrum. Um, and then musically, like, 
I've been playing with jazz standards, just like classic um, jazz tunes and like learning from their harmony a lot. And then taking that harmonic moment and then like, I'll just write a song from there. So I'm actually, a song I'm gonna play you later is like, sort of came from that. And um, yeah, I'm sort of going back to, I'm learning, I'm like going to school. Or am I trying to just be in school right now a little bit and study? Um, I feel like um, somebody asked the question um, or that I can put up that goes mm -hmm. with a little bit of what you're saying. Yeah. Trying to work this this damn thing out. Wait. Okay. Boom. Let's. They said, "What state of mind do you have to be in mm -hmm. when?" What state of mind? Say it again. What state of mind do you have to be in when you're creating? Such an, I mean, it's so interesting. I really feel like, I really feel like I'm trying to, um, like honor, get as close to the nugget, like get as close to the, um, get as close to the feeling as I possibly can. And so I feel like I'm just trying to like, I don't know. It's like sort of a suspended state almost. Like I'm not, like I'm soundly out there, but I feel like I'm really trying to not, I'm just trying to like listen for like what it needs to do next lyrically and also musically. Um, but so I you, back at you though, what do you feel? How would you describe like when you're like in the, when you're like in the writing zone, you know, like what, it, how would you describe what that feels like? Oh my goodness. Um, uh it feels good to like write or to get in that zone. I don't even know how it starts. But it's always different, but yeah. I know I feel it. I feel yeah. it. Something it's whether it's music or TV or like beats or whatever. I feel mm -hmm. it. Then I'm like, I gotta go right. Mm -hmm. Like create something from this feeling. Even like sometimes just like situations, like maybe like emotion, mm -hmm. like going through things in real life mm -hmm. and then you feel like like maybe deep sadness or extreme joy or whatever and then I'm like I gotta create something off of this feeling it's usually feelings like totally. um and I guess the state of mind is um I gotta be ready to I have to be ready to work so well said so well you well get fired and you're just like ugh totally and also I think like the inspiration is almost like that's not the easy part but i feel like it's easy to be like okay i like that little bit was inspired now i'm gonna dip out but then i feel like yeah. you got to be ready to work you got to be ready to craft that and like take the like follow through i feel like is a big part too and like the marriage of those two things so i really feel that well said i really like that i have another question for you yeah so, i mean i have so many questions for you rocky like, <laughs> like <Okay. laughs> um let me what are folks saying? Do you, is anyone on here like also a songwriter? And just we're curious. I mean, we're gonna again like, um, but if y'all want to post questions, like, does that stuff about state of mind um, resonate? Like, what is the writing state like for you guys? Is that a thing that? Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Rocky got a gold couch. <laughs> it's orange. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, like, do you feel, right back, feel, I got you. Do you feel like it's your duty to, um, oh yeah, this is such a good one. Do you feel like it's your duty to, as an artist, to create about what's going on, happening in the world, like create or address things that's going on in the world? Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a question that I, I think about a lot, and I think that um, I I've never I I would I I don't consider myself like an activist musician, you know, like I don't think that, or in in the sense that like I wouldn't say that I'm like lyrically behind a really specific cause, and I I know that fo folks who are, and I like I respect them so deeply. Um, I think a lot of my work is just like really coming from a place of like how I'm processing what's happening around me. And a lot of it ends up having to do with like 
sort of what it is to be a woman in this world. Um, but I think as artists, our responsibility is to like bring folks into embodiment and consciousness and presence. And that, you know what I mean? And, and like, to make this world a better place. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that really answers that question, but I, I definitely don't want to like position myself or say things that aren't true to the, to the action. You know, I want to be really like conscious of what you're like that. Yeah. And then I'm, you know, that I think that um, sometimes maybe we feel like, yeah, just that maybe art is enough in certain, in certain contexts, but what do you feel like? How do you engage with that? I, that's I think that's been my struggle for this yeah. like whole lockdown thing. I think that's what's been yeah. up is because me as a human being, as Raquela, is very big into like yeah. feeling what the planet is feeling and like yeah. being involved, like just knowing what's going on and like yeah. action in some way. But me as the artist is like. I can't be like vocal or like be, it's not I can't, but I'm trying to figure out how to be more positive about how I'm trying to, positive about helping. Because in my mind, I just want to be like, everyone stay in, <laughs> stay indoors. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. like, if you see me on Twitter, I'm just like, stay indoors. You guys yeah. are so but as an artist, it's like me trying to figure out a more positive way to, convey that message so i was off of social media for a good minute because i was just like i'm so angry yeah. at people who are not taking this the whole thing seriously and um i shouldn't be because this that's them that's not me but like i felt like i was trying to police everybody and mm -hmm. and i and that's not really my my brand is more like uplifting and just like helpful and stuff like that so like when i would come on instagram i would like post like food banks and like um ways for you to make money and stuff like that because yeah. like a way for me to to help without being negative and then when i go on twitter i'm just like all right <laughs> you know what I mean? like wow. the mad part about me so i guess it's just like trying to figure out all right how to balance that because I don't think everyone needs to know anything. I think about how you feel, but then I also feel like is a disservice if you don't speak up on certain things, like certain things that are true to your brand yeah. and who you display as an your artist, you should speak up on certain things. You should stand not necessarily for something, necessarily for something, but you should have a a purpose which we all do all as like creatives we all have a purpose and yeah. want to, like create at least the genuine okay. truth anyways i'm trying but oh no no i'm i totally and i think that like this is also a, a <laughs> platform you know and like not. as are as performers right or it's like we and if you are someone who has an audience even if it's tiny like even if i'm in a room with whatever playing for 15 people like it's an opportunity to be like, yo, this, this is the shit that's important. And like, whatever small leadership role that is, of just being like, you know, this is, this is what's important. And I think it is crucial that we, um, that we keep that at the forefront of our work. And when we have the opportunity to be addressing people in any, in any way, even on this platform, you know? Um, so 100%, I feel you. Um, what I was going to say, let's answer this question and then let's get into like, what you've been like working on creating and stuff like that yeah i mean maybe i'll like maybe we move into i'll play you like a little something that's new and then we could like sort of volley that a little bit okay um so they said have you ever collaborated with an artist that weren't able to understand your vision wait who's, okay wait say that again gar scario denim okay that have you ever collaborated with artists that weren't able to understand your vision Hmm. Do you want to go first? Do you want to take this one? Um. Yes. No. No. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll pass it. I'll pass no, I'm trying to. Yeah. Take. I don't. I can't think of a specific time. But yeah. I mean, I think that like. Honestly, collaboration in a true way, like deep collaboration, is something that 
has been my growing edge in the past couple of years, I feel like, because I, for some reason, I grew up, I think my mom said to me once, my mom is also a um, singer and composer and piano player. She's amazing. Yeah. And she said something to me once that was like, as a singer, like, you need to be able to support, like, you need to be able to do this on your own and, like, not lean on anyone, you know, because there are, there are, like, I think that singers get into a situation a lot where, like, they don't know how to, they, like, they want to perform, but, like, need other people to make things happen. And that's not, like, any shade towards sing, like, that's me, but, like, um, I think that, so anyway, she just, like, drilled this into me that was, like, you need to be able to do this on your own, like, you know what I mean, like, have your own back and do it on your own. And so I sort of got into this mindset of, like, I got this, like, and so in collaboration the past couple of years, I definitely think that, like, I get, you know, defensive. And so it's almost less about, like, they don't get my vision and more of, like, how do we, how do we imagine together? And what does it actually mean to, like, create something together? And Luke is here, and I feel, test, you know, speak to this, but, like, you know, how do we start to make space and how do we vision things together? And like, so that's definitely been, I think a growing edge and is the growing edge of this next moment for me mm -hmm. um, in deep ways. How, what's your experience with that and your collaborative um, stuff? I feel like that's only happened with really like, um, maybe like visual stuff because <laughs> like I'm, I have visual ideas, but trying to figure out how to make them come to life and mm -hmm. look good is like something I'm learning. So like when I, I may come to someone with a visual idea, it may sound like it's not like, how do we make that happen for real in real life? Not just like, especially with not a crazy budget It's like, how do we make that? What are the steps to actually make that happen? I never think about it. I just started thinking about that. Like, okay. what do we need instead of just like, oh, I have this great idea. We're going to walk down the street and do this and we're going to jump off of this and da, 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 da. But it's like, what is the technical behind that and how is that going to get done? Totally. Break it down. Totally. What, it was, what needs to be built? What You know what I mean? Totally. You got Every... to be ready to work. Like you said earlier, it's like, you got to be ready to work. Figure it out. Yeah. So, um, that's what I've been kind of like trying to figure out. I would say music wise, not really. Cause I, used, I'm so like, I just, I think also too, I've just started inviting people into my creative process. Mm -hmm. think, um, in any collaboration, like if I'm mm -hmm. collaborating with you now, I'm going to send you a voice note of how mm -hmm. I'm going to rap or sing or whatever. Um, before I was like, no, I got to get this on point before they All see right. They're going to think this is mm. stupid. I'm going to get the vision. <laughs> I always feel like you you have like like a first impression. Mm. And, but, and I that mostly with music too. Like if I show you something and I didn't go hard or like really prepare it, like I think like an actor, like I'm trying to pitch it to you. Mm. And if I pitch it correctly, you may be like, what the, what is this? <laughs> like, so I try to like pitch it as a finished product so that way you can see the whole vision because not a lot of people totally. are time to see the vision so totally yeah i definitely feel like i'm also i'm learning that i'm like susceptible to where'd you go rocky oh i'm right here oh, okay i was like happy can you see me no no i can't see you anymore <laughs> instagram is oh i think it turned around wait a second yeah you just turned around exactly because i can see now little shadows or something um but anyway like what was I gonna say oh like that I'm like I get overwhelmed and there are other like a lot of other voices and even if they're great opinions like I definitely am learning that like I need to have some stillness and space to figure out like what do I want and before like and get clear on that and grounded in like what my vision is and then bring it to folks and like so I don't feel like bombarded by like all these other opinions and like lose myself, you know, like lose my initial creative impulse. Um, yeah, it's deep. Yes, that per uh, Sario, thank you for that question. Oh, oh dope. yeah, that was a great question. Mm -hmm. That was a good question. Um, should we do another one or should we go into the music or like talk about?
what do we like what should should we do today? yeah maybe we'll do like a little share and then move back into questions and if you guys have other questions or like just observations and comments about your own creative process like um feel free to just like put them in the comments i guess yeah guys add the questions because oh so, some people are adding questions we're gonna answer. okay great okay so we can even just do like a short share and then if a lot of questions are coming in then like we can just do that okay um. <laughs> no. <laughs> um okay i'm just wondering how does this sound can you hear this is that too loud that's good yeah wait ask them guys can you hear that clearly can you guys hear this i'm just wondering how it sounds in there great sound olivia okay great um, so this one, I'm, I'm just going to play you half of it. Um, but this one was like born out of this inspiration of this, um, this jazz standard called the child is born. And there were just some beautiful harmonic moments. Um, they said loud. Need piano louder. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if my voice can project over that. Um, and then <laughs> like I came up with these chords and this is a fun fact but like you can't own harmony so like when you're when you write a song and I don't know if you know this but like if anyone knows this or maybe it's super common knowledge but like <laughs> um you can't own harmony like you can't own chords so like what actually makes up a song is the lyrics and the melody but anyways um I wrote like a bunch of different parts to this. Like it just was like a bunch of different things. And then this is sort of at the end. Kept me in my place, yes. Homeostasis, trying to escape this. If I break free, will you fly with me? Kept me in my place, yes. Homeostasis, trying to escape this. If I break free, will you fly with me? Something's gotta give if we wanna make it. Something's gotta change if we wanna stay. Something's gotta shift if we wanna save it. Something's gotta move, I don't wanna break it. Always in a push go never at ease. Always in a back bend trying to please you. Uneven, I need you. Always in a war zone, never at peace. Always in tension, never releasing. Let's reason, be a decent. Kept me in my place, yes. Homeostasis, trying to escape this. If I break free, will you fly with me? Kept me in my place, yes. Homeostasis, trying to escape this. If I break free, will you fly with me? Woo! <laughs> anyway, there's more, but um, thank you. Oh, where are you? Oh, I thought you were like did a cool background. Um, yeah. <laughs> right now. How is the sound getting through? It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. I know. That Can you do a verse on this one? <laughs> Look, I've got I'm writing and I'm like, I don't want to write the next verse. I think I just need like. <laughs> <laughs> how did you. The verse. What were you like? How'd you get there? Like, how did you get to that? Dude, like I was saying, like it started with a totally different riff. I don't even know what the other riff went. Like, it was like, I don't know. It was like some other thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Time will change all wounds, but I'm doing what I can. It was like these three other parts. And then this one, like, I think this one, I just started to build and make sense. Um, but again, it's like, one one chord progression is so rich with like melodic options like i tell this to my songwriting students like just take take one chord or like two chords or 
you know, in this case, this was like the main progression is three chords, but like, there's just so much, there's just so much in there. And so I think that like, a big part of it is just exploring like all the different, um, 